Ortiz Imenia was not accustomed to waiting. A former Miss Venezuela and Miss Universe runner-up, of course, the exceedingly bronze strawberry blonde was these days the wife of Miami auto parts tycoon, Herman Ortiz Imenia. And at every restaurant she chose to grace with her presence, she was always greeted with reverence and wished to the exact table she desired. Today, she wanted the corner table on the terrace at Sip Sip, her favorite lunch spot on Harbor Island. She wanted to sit on one of the coffee orange canvas director's chairs and stare out at the gently laughing Turkish waters while eating her kale Caesar salad. But there was a large, noisy group taking up the entire terrace and they didn't seem in much hurry to leave. Bettina fumed as she glared at the terrace happily savoring their lunch in the sun. Look how tacky they were. The woman overly tanned wrinkled and saggy, none of them properly lifted a box. She felt like walking up to the table and handing out her dermatologist's business cards. And the men were even worse. All dressed in all rampant shirts and shorts, wearing those cheap straw hats sold at the trinket shot on Dunmore Street. Why did such people have to come here? The three and a half mile long paradise with its pristine pink sand beaches was one of the best kept secrets in the Caribbean a haven for the very rich filled with quaint little wood houses painted in shades of sherbet charming boutiques chic oceanfront mansions turned into inns and five-star restaurants to rival St. Bart's Two, we should have taken a style exam before being allowed to set food on the island Feeling that she had been patient long enough, Bettina stormed into the kitchen. The fringe on her crochet pushy cuffed on top shaking furiously as she made a beeline for the woman with a shock of pixie cut blonde hair manning the main stove. Julie, honey, what's the dealio? I've waited more than 15 minutes for my table. Bettina sighed to the owner of the restaurant. Sorry Bettina, it's been one of those days. The part of 12 on the cherry showed up first just before you did. Julie replied as she added of a bowl of spicy couch chili to waiting server. But the terrace is your prime spot. Why on earth did you let those tourists take up all that space? Well, the tourist in the red fishing cup is the Duke of Gledcora. His party just pulled it over from in the mirror. That is Royal Husman you see murdered off the coast. Isn't it the most handsome sailboat you'd ever seen? I'm not impressed by big boats, but seen a half. Although secretly she was rather impressed by people with big titles. From the kitchen window, she surveyed the party assembled on the terrace with new eyes. These Aristo British types were such a strange breed. Sure, they had their Savile Row suits and their heirloom tiaras. But when they traveled, they looked so painfully frumpy. It was only then that Bettina noticed three tan, well built men in fitted white t shirts and black Kevlar pants sitting at an adjacent table. The guys weren't eating but sat watchfully, sipping glasses of seltzer water. I assume that's the Duke's security detail. They couldn't be more obvious. Don't they know that we're all billionaires here on Bryland and this isn't how we roll? Bettina nodded. Actually, those bodyguards belong to the Duke's special guest. They did the whole sweep of the restaurant before the party arrived. They even searched my walk-in freezer. See the Chinese fellow seated at the end of the table? Bettina squinted through her door ecstasy sunglasses at the portly, balding, 70-something Asian man dressed in a nondescript white short sleeve, golf shirt, and gray trousers. Oh, I didn't even notice him. Am I supposed to know who he is? That's Alfred Chang. Julie said in a harsh tone. Bettina giggled. He looks like the chauffeur. Doesn't he look like that guy who used to drive Jane Wyman around the Falcon Crest? Julie, who was trying to focus on serving a cut of tuna to perfection, 
shook her head a tight deep smile. From what I hear, that chauffeur is the most powerful man in Asia. What his name again?